Hey everyone, it's Mike with Play More Games, and we are back with another unboxing video. Today we have the new and fresh off the presses uh, Deadly Woods, The Battle of the Bulge, published by Revolution Games. It's designed by uh, Ted S. Racier, uh, who, of course, you may know from such hits as Paths of Glory or his. Dark series of games, uh, the Dark Valley, the Dark Sands, and the forthcoming uh, Dark Summer. Uh, so there's an Eastern Front game, a North Africa game, and now uh, a Normandy game. Those are all with uh, GMT. And then we have the Deadly Woods, um, which is Battle of the Bulge, and published by Revolution Games. So let's take a quick look at the back of the box. Okay, and on the back here we can see our info blurb, uh, some counter samples, a nice sample of the map. We have further credits. This was developed by Roger Miller and graphics um, Charles Kibler, Joe Eust, and Mark Maffey. Rules editing by Kai Jensen. All right. So let's take a look and see what we've got inside. So first off, we have our rule book, um, our rules of play. And it is a fairly standard rule book. Um, black and white, no color, um, but it follows a very you know, formal rules convention, uh, sequencing, um, numbering of sections. Um, I skimmed through it. It seems very... If you've played a war game before, for the most part, you should probably be able to pick up most of the rules. There's nothing really wild here. Um, of course, until you get to the... Like, some of the special rules, and when to put in certain shits. Um, that's where I think the game gets uh, a lot of its chrome, but uh, be happy to report back to you on that once I play it. Next we have our player aid, player aid number one. And this has information on your unit counters, um, helps you read them, shows you where to set them up, shows you basically how to read all the information from the counters down to the turn record track, unit types, unit symbols, all that good stuff. So that's player aid one. Player aid two, you have combat results table, terrain effects chart. Again, skimmed it. Nothing crazy here. We have player aid three. So the core of the dark and deadly games is the chip pull system. So each chip does something a little bit different. And there is a, a chip schedule. It was on the back of the rule book that I showed you earlier. But this tells you what each chip does. So when you pull it, you refer to this and it tells you what to do. So I really like the chip pull system because it helps add some randomness to the game so that may or may not be your specific thing but since I do play a lot of games solitaire it really helps keep that uh, variety and that uh, sense that anything can really kinda happen next let's take a look at the counters so this is a one and a half counter sheet game you can see that they're nice solid counters decent size uh, here we have mostly Germans with some of our Americans. And let's see if we can get a closer look. I'm zoomed in a little bit more. I don't want to take us in too far because then, then you're just looking at individual counters. So um, they're nice. They're double-sided. Here are some of those chits that we were talking about. So, in 
just kind of feeling them. They feel ready to pop right off. One thing you'll notice is if you look in the upper left, and I'll show you this later, it has their setup code. Well, this isn't really a 4-hex ID, so how does it work? Well, I'll show you in just a moment, but keep that in mind. Here we have the Allies and the Brits and some status markers. So you can see our Airborne, 101st and the 82nd. And uh, 30 core. Alright, so now let's take a look at the fun stuff, the map. So you, here you can see we have status markers along the left, so information track, asset counters, turn record track, reinforcement schedule, terrain key, victory point schedule, and action round track, so tons of information there. And then we have the map itself. So let's go in just a little bit. Okay, so here we have the German setup sector. And if you've played a bulge game before, or are familiar with the Arden Forest, a lot of these places should be pretty familiar. So we have, you know, from the bottom to the top here, we have the 5th, 6th, 5th and 6th Panzer Armies, and the 7th Infantry Army uh, for the Germans. Um, up in the top middle section of the map, we have the Liège uh, City Hexes. And then moving over, we can see the Moose River. Uh, Amur over here in the corner. And we follow the river down, 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 all the way to Sedan. So, if you've played a bulge game before, this has all the hits. You should be able to see Bastogne in a red hex in the middle of the uh, screen there. Uh, St. Vith, of course. Um, the little... Uh, the little, uh, I don't know how to describe these. They kind of look like tops on their sides. But, but they also might be ninja stars, so I don't know. Um, that's our west wall, uh, our German starting positions. So, um, if you've played a Bulge game before, uh, Bitterwoods, Ardennes 44, um, Bitterwoods specifically, uh, this is very similar but we've got it condensed into one map. So, that is pretty cool. So one last thing before we wrap up. Here we have, and I think that this is just so cool, we have a setup map. So remember how I pointed out, so there's, there's no four digit, digit uh, hex codes. Well, there's also no long setup list at the back of the book. Uh, instead, you get this nice printed map. So, let's go in and we'll just take a quick look. All right, so here we are taking a look, and we're taking a look at that same west wall location. Well, you can see that each hex is numbered on the map here. So that is the corresponding hex location in the game. So if we see one over here, and we go one over here, then what we'll do is we'll look at our German counters, and here we are, one. So we know that when we punch this guy out, he's going to be starting in hex 40, 23. And it goes all the way up, up, all the starting positions, all the way to the top there. And it does this for both the Axis and the Allies. And I think that's really neat. It's very nice. Alright, so that's all the components. Let me box this back up and uh, I'll give you some final thoughts.
Okay, we're all packed up and I have to say it's an impressive little package and I am really looking forward to getting this out and getting this played and uh, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing video and uh, stay tuned for more uh, Deadly Woods content coming soon. Thanks again for watching. This is Mike and uh, I hope you have a great day.